Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Firecasts. I'm Andrew Brogdon from the Mobile Ads SDK team, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get Firebase and AdMob working together in an iOS app using CocoaPods. First, we'll link an app with Firebase, then we'll download the configuration plist file, next we'll update CocoaPods to include just the right dependencies, and then we initialize Firebase. All right, so step one is linking an app, and we'll do that in the AdMob console. So I'll meet you in a browser window. OK, so here are the four steps for iOS. And we're going to begin with the first, linking an AdMob app to a Firebase project. There's a bunch of ways to get started on this, and I'll include a guide at the end of this video. But for now, I'm just going to go to the Analytics tab in the AdMob console, where the front end team has this nice Get Started with Firebase button. When I click that, I get a list of my AdMob apps. And I can click Link to Firebase right here to link my app. That gets me a prompt for my app's bundle ID, which is needed for the configuration stuff to work later. And depending on whether you've already created a Firebase project or not, you may have some choices on the next screen. Here you can either link the app to one of your existing Firebase projects or create a brand new one. Either way, once you're done with this screen, you get one that looks like this, telling you the app is linked. So that's step one. Step two is to download the plist file that contains your Firebase configuration information, uh, which is crazy easy because the screen I just showed you has a link right to it, right there. Uh, that'll take you to the Firebase console and start the download automatically. All right, so I've got an app linked, and I've downloaded the plist file that contains the configuration info for my Firebase project. Now it's time to get the right SDK components into my app, so we'll head into Xcode. And here's my very basic iOS app, and I'm going to use CocoaPods to get the Firebase SDK and the Mobile Ads SDK into it. So the first thing I need to do actually is close Xcode uh, and create a pod file using pod in it. There we go. So I got a pod file, uh, which I'm going to edit using Vim so everybody out there thinks I'm smart. Cool. Uh, inside the pod file, I just need to add two dependencies to my target. First is the Firebase pod, which gives me access to basic Firebase stuff like the Firebase app class, which we'll see in a second, plus Firebase analytics, uh, and then a second pod for AdMob. Uh, there are, by the way, a ton of these pods. Uh, here's a list of the available Firebase services and the pods that go with them, which you can find in the setup guide. I'll actually link you to later. But as you can see, there's a whole bunch. Cool. Uh, so now I do a pod install to get all my new dependencies. There we go. And now I'll open the workspace file that CocoaPods made for me to get back into Xcode. Cool. So that's steps one through three finished. Now I just need to call Firebase's configure method when my app launches so it's back into Xcode. To start, I'm going to grab that plist file that we downloaded earlier, and I'm going to drag it into the root of my source tree. Firebase uses this config file to store a bunch of keys and ID kind of things. Uh, that's what the file's for. There we go. Next, in my app delegate, I'm going to import the Firebase framework provided to me by the pods, and then call the configure method in the Firebase app class. There we go. That configures my app at launch and makes sure that all the installed Firebase components are ready to go. Uh, so that's it. I'm done with all four steps, and AdMob with Firebase is ready to go. Uh, which means I can come into the View Controller, for example, import the Firebase framework, and start playing with AdMob classes. Uh, here's a GAD banner view, and you can see the type resolving right there, so you know the SDK has properly been imported. So there we go. Firebase and AdMob in an app, working together, and it only took a couple minutes. That's it for this Firecast. Please leave your questions in the comments below, or reach out on Twitter and G+, with the hashtag AskFirebase. By the way, if you like seeing videos about mobile ads, I got a whole other series just about that. Uh, it's got screencasts, feature breakdowns, clones, moose repellent, hairless cats and sweaters, you name it. Uh, it's called the Mobile Ads Garage, so if you're interested in mobile ads, check it out. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be dropping a new Firecast every few days, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. I'm Andrew Brogdon, and thanks for watching.